An American accused of aiding the bin Laden terror network was arraigned today in U.S. federal court. The man who's come to be known as the American Taliban, John Walker Lynn. As John Walker Lynn entered his plea, CBS's Bob Orr reports two American families on opposite sides of this case met for the first time face to face. Walker Lind entered a Virginia courtroom to answer the government's charges that he conspired to kill Americans. The parents and widow of slain CIA officer Mike Spann were there to watch. Hey, who brought you here? Just hours after he interrogated Lind in Afghanistan, Spann was killed in the prison uprising at Mazari Sharif. Mike was a hero, not be because of the way he died, but because of the way he lived. And I'd also like to say that John Walker is a traitor because of the way he lived. Well, Lind is not charged in Spann's death and not charged with treason, a crime that carries the death penalty. He does face a 10-count federal indictment, accusing him of fighting with the Taliban against U.S. forces and supporting Osama bin Laden's terrorist network. In court, U.S. District Judge T.S. Ellis asked Lind, how do you plead to all the charges against you? The so-called American Taliban, now clean-shaven and wearing a green prison jumpsuit, responded, Not guilty, sir. As he was leaving the courtroom, the 21-year-old Lynn turned and smiled at his father, Frank. Then, in the hallway, Frank Lynn sought out Span's father. I'm sorry about the death of your son, Lynn said. Our hearts go out to you. John had nothing to do with it. Outside, Johnny Span appeared unmoved. Americans will not tolerate traitors. And we believe that justice will prevail. Spann's widow Shannon said she'd prefer Lind face the death penalty. Uh, we expect Mr. Walker to be held personally responsible for all of the things that he has done. Arguing that the case is complex, attorneys for both sides asked for a November trial date. But Judge Ellis impatiently told them to get to work and plan for a trial in September. He'll set the date on Friday. Bob or CBS News, Alexandria, Virginia. In Afghanistan today, U.S. troops detained seven suspects after shots were fired toward the American base at Kandahar Airport. U.S. Army troops responded with heavy fire that lit up the night and continued on and off for about half an hour. No Americans were injured in the exchange. The leader of a crucial U.S. ally in the war in Afghanistan visited the White House today. Pakistan's President Musharraf said he is, and I quote, reasonably sure that kidnapped Wall Street Journal reporter Daniel Pearl is still alive and that he will be released soon. 